Hello, this is Lori. Today I'm going to show you how to do one of two methods when you're downloading a kit, in this case from Pickleberry Pop. You can see that's what I've got pulled up at the top. And this kit I am going to put into the Windows folders because that's the way I scrap. So I'll give you a little preview of how I do this. I have purchased the kit Fayette of Fayette, See the Beauty, and when I hit download, I'm then going to get the different downloads, and I've already downloaded the first one, so I will just click on the word art, and you can see that it's downloading here. I am going to open my downloads folder, and you can see that I have it already right there. I'll just go ahead and minimize this, and you're going to see the folder into my external hard drive. Now, if you prefer working with dot packets and you want to do categories and tags and that type of thing, thing, there is a sister video that I made showing how to do this with dot packets. So you can look um, at that video. This video is going to show you how to load it just into an external hard drive and I have a folder I call DigiKits, and right now I am working all of my new stuff since May is going into this folder. I haven't done an updated folder yet, so it's just new from May. And you can see I have a folder here called Pickleberry Pop, PVP, and I will go into that one. Now these are all the kits I have since May from Pickleberry Pop, and I'm going to be adding the Fayette See the Beauty. Now, I do not unzip my folders. I tend to do drag and drop. So if you look over here at this elements folder, I know this is the biggest one, the one with the most in it, so it's always where I start. And it is a zipped folder. I'm just going to double click it, and now I have an unzipped folder. Now, if I double click it one more time, I can see all of the elements. So I will go back one step to that folder that is um, not a zipped folder, but it is within a zipped folder. I'm going to grab it and drag and drop over onto my external hard drive. Now as it moves over, you can see that it says copying. Here it is, and I am going to get rid of the word elements because this will be the whole kit, but I also want to make sure to give it the whole name of the kit so that I know exactly when I'm going to look for it. Now also, just a little trick I use is when I have just purchased a kit and I have not used it yet, I put a dash and a space so that it pops it to the top. So this way my eye is drawn to it to know this is one of the kits that I want to use first because I just purchased it, it's brand new. I will double click to open it up and now it's my unzipped elements from that kit. I'm going to go back over to my downloads folder and now I'm going to work my way through the rest of them. And I don't need to grab the preview. I already have a kit preview in here. So I'm just dragging and dropping each of the sets. I'll drag and drop and one more with the word art. And notice I haven't actually unzipped anything. I'm just pulling it out of the zipped folder and putting it where I want it to be. So there they are. Now I did get a couple more previews while I was at it, and I really don't need all of those. So I'm just going to delete them out. And here's the folder. Now if you're curious, if you've never worked this way and you've always used dot packets, let me just show you how I use these. Here's a layout that I will be working with. And here are my elements and my papers in that kit. The first thing I do is I want all my papers over in my Photos tab, and I go to Photos Not Used. So over here, I will go to Details. I'm going to clip up, click on the word Type, and you can see all the JPEGs pop to the top because it's alphabetical order. I'll click one more time, and now my pings went to the top. I'll go back to my large icons. When I scroll down, I can see all of the papers. Now I don't need the preview, but I'm going to grab all of these papers. I used my shift key to do that. Drag and drop, and they're going to go into the photos not used area. The cool thing with this is I can take all of these papers 
and I can fill them. Now, of course, right now I am working on a, with a 5. This does work basically the same way with a 4, um, but you don't see this cutting board. So that part is a little bit different. But what I'm doing is I'm just filling. I can fill with each different paper. Of course, resizing because it's A5, just the way you see. And then what I can do is afterwards, I can start pulling in my different elements and placing them however I want. I'm just going to um, take this one and move it to the back. And then you can see it went behind the background so I just drag it back up. So I work from the Windows folders this way and not from dot packets, but there are many, uh, many different um, benefits to working each way. So I don't want you to think that either way is right or wrong. I do always go back to my downloads folder once I've got them where I want them and I'm going to select all of those and delete because I don't want those clogging up my downloads folder. That's it. Pretty simple, not difficult to do. This is a um, Fayette kit, and then this um, template does also come from Pickleberry Pop. And I would just work exactly as you saw, replacing the papers, pulling in elements, and creating my page. Have fun with it, and if you do prefer to work with dot packets, go see the sister video. You'll see it loaded right beside this one. Have a good day.